Okay, hello everybody. Scott is Jenja, and I don't have a black box, do I, on here? Nice to see you, Valerie Looney. Thank you again, honey, for your overwhelming kindness. I've always relied on the kindness to strangers. You know, when I'm wearing my Hawaiian shirt, that means there's a building to be done. So it's been a couple days. Hello, Deb. It's been a couple days since uh, I have... Uh, done the uh, build live I've had a lot of requests for it uh, frankly I get busy I get to cursing with Marshall and uh, you know <laughs> it is what it is so give, let me get a cup of coffee and I'll uh, get you guys caught up to date on what is going on with the uh, build at the current time I know the place is kind of junky looking right now, but uh, it is what it is. When you're involved in a big build project like this, it's very time consuming. You tend to go through a lot of tools and, you know, we have a tool tarp instead of a toolbox here. So, uh, we've had to do a lot of work on this, uh, this vehicle. One of the hardest things is wood on metal construction. Trying to get a uh, bed built into a camper van. It has to be strong. It has to be as big as possible. And it has to look decent at the end of the day. Uh, and that's that's a lot, lot of... And it's got to be safe too. And it's a lot of requirements to be, uh, to be met here. So I don't know if the... Uh you can see the uh, you can see the framework that we have established in there. And in a couple minutes, I'll take you inside. And I'll show you some of the uh, things that I did, and some of the uh, uh, some of the work, and some of the things that uh, have made it difficult and challenging to maintain the uh, coach without uh, having it uh, destroyed. Uh, cutting lines. We're working around propane lines, electrical lines, refrigerators. Uh, all types of things in here. We got to be super careful where you're uh, drilling. You guys know we've been down this road. Uh, we've been down this road before. So I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. I'll let you see. You can see the back, uh, the back uh, stringer here that is spanning across the uh, coach. And in a couple minutes, Sam Telfer. How you doing, babe? <laughs> in a couple minutes, I'll take you inside of the uh, take you inside of the coach. And uh, we'll have a little look-see around, okay, to see where we stand at this uh, at this moment in time. How you doing, uh, Marie Duffy? Uh, love you more, Sam. South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> Reserve that Holiday Inn. <laughs> Whoa. So we'll talk about the importance of level, the importance of being uh, square, and all the importance of having attachment through uh, through metal here. So I will be back in a minute. I'm going to go get me a coffee, as my friend Lori Green says. Let's get a cup of coffee. Huh?
Christ. A beautiful day in Santa Rosa. Let's go ahead and uh, flip this around. Give you guys a look here. This is our tool tarp here. We're now looking inside of the uh, van here. And one of the big issues is, uh, as I told you guys, safety and uh, stability of this particular bed unit. Marshall's not a small guy for sure. But he asked me to do a couple, a couple things when it came to this build. He said, number one, make the bed as big as possible for the coach, which means take it as close to the inside dimensions as possible here. Number two, make sure it's safe, okay? And you'll see down here we have a lot of propane lines running around. Hello, Missy Jen. Nice to see you. We have a lot of propanes. We have uh, heater uh, hookups here. There's a lot going on in this area. There's refrigerator. There's a propane line running into the fridge. So I found it exceedingly difficult to work in this uh, space. What's up, Kitten Cat? Hello, Linda Colt. Nice to see you. I found it challenging to work in the space here. The other thing, we had to make sure that everything stayed level in the uh, coach. And it uh, not only was it uh, did it derive the strength from our stringers across the coach, as you can see here, but also each of these members that you see, these vertical members, everything's been marked up. It's like building an Amish barn here. It was all numbered to um, pro all numbered to hey survivor how are you all numbered in gen gen it was all numbers so that it would go together like a um like an amish barn raising here i originally wanted to build this into one piece and i didn't want to have uh center stringers here holding this together but alas it just it couldn't make the fit into the coach so i had to uh had to cut it in half basically and then rebolt some uh, cross members to it for the uh, for the strength. There's a lot of hey LaDonna, how you doing? There's a lot of things, Harvey, how are you? To be considered. You have to think about finish when you're putting this coach together. In other words, all of these bolts have to be countersunk here on the back. Uh, because they need to there needs to be paneling put on this. There's gonna be a water tank. Uh, back here so a lot of things you have to think ahead you don't want to take it apart and then have to put it together uh, again each of these members that you see they're all at 21 inches uh, to the floor and each one of them is lag bolted down below uh, through the bottom of the coach we had to be very careful about the drilling through the coach that we didn't hit one of the uh, tanks I don't want to blow up on this uh, on this job so where possible, we've derived strength from the uh, from the coach. I'm going to go ahead and put additional uh, uh, wood to sheet metal screws in here for additional stability. And I have to put one last piece across here to uh, bring this uh, to complete the uh, the rectangle here and bring it all to the same level. Now, what's going to happen is this is designed so that there's three different insert panels there'll be a heater access uh, panel here that lays on top of it the bed is designed so that the one inch plywood can can lay in these grooves that you see along here it's all measured to 20 uh, uh, an inch and a half from the top to accom accommodate one inch plywood which is not really one inch it's an inch and an eighth uh, so it, it's taken a lot of work. Uh, Marshall's been very cooperative. He's helped these helped me as much as he possibly can. You can see some of these cuts have to be tailored to the uh, wheel well. It needs as much it needs as much support vertically as possible because all the weight on here you want transferred going down to the uh, coach. And all of the horizontal uh, supports are just for stability so it doesn't sway or rock back and forth. And then I'm adding bracing, as you can see, where possible uh, on here. So um, it also had to be uh, it also had to be uh, level so that the bed would lay in there uh, level. You can see that, which is pretty darn good. And then it also uh, it had to be level. You know front to back uh, you know side to side here uh for that too so a lot of different requirements 
went into this we've reached the point where this thing is really rock solid in my opinion this could easily support a thousand pounds or more this frame uh yeah it's not easier for me to tow it away and scrap it <laughs> yeah the ground is perfectly level here so everything is uh right on the level mark which is exactly the way i uh, uh i build things this is actually i don't know what it is 38 inches or something like that across and i don't know it just spans the spans the length of the coach here we'll be able to drop panels down on top of that we basically ended up gutting the whole uh the whole coach here so had to also secure some of the members through the refrigerator area over here you'll see some bolts coming through the wall there we had to make sure we didn't hit the coils on the refrigerator Ten dollars. You're doing a great job, Rosie. Thank Hugging you. face. Thank you, honey. Very sweet of you. So, um, it is it is super strong now, and it it creates a good size uh, good size bed area in here. There's no doubt about that. So the next thing I need to do is, uh, and I have you guys live. We're gonna fix the cross member from here over oh, it's going to span all of these uh, up and down uh, legs here some may not be perfectly in line we'll use what's called shims to bring it all up to uh, the same distance before so we're going to use some big lag bolts to uh to bolt that down but the uh, stability is strong on here i'll sit this uh, over here for a minute sit that over there and turn that around let me flip that around. There we go. <laughs> you can see this this thing has a lot of a lot of tremendous amount of strength to it, and it's going to pick pick the final bit of strength when we cut that stringer for the uh, side. Doing the flooring was uh, was very glad to get that done, and all the demolition. We still have to sort out the whole electrical snakes here all of this uh all of this stuff here i need to make a new front for the uh, refrigerator unit down there and we need to make sure that the bed looks really nice as you come into the coach uh, from the back so i think it's met all of the requirements here that he had asked me to build into the coach strength stability uh and all that so <clears throat> so far so good as you see the level uh there and i'm very happy about the way that uh, things have turned out adding this final member will give the uh forward and uh rear stability to the uh, coach then i'll go ahead and attach do, do some attachment here i'll catch some metal here on the frame and go in there but uh, this thing isn't going anywhere here this thing is in here like a uh in here like a rock so um well i don't like to jackknife sofas i think that they suck they're uncomfortable to sleep on uh i mean that's the way i felt about it when i had a coachman that was a year older a uh, year older than this so um you know having a bed in the back is a dream i think of a lot of camper van uh people so it's been an interesting project it's been a painful project uh i've got the uh the plumb line out we're gonna drop some uh, we're gonna drop some lines down from the frame to make sure that we hit the uh floor in the right locations we have to be careful of the gas tank down here as you guys know thank you uh thank you linda so thank you ja so if need be this thing can always be unbolted as I said, there'll be three three panels, three inch one, three one inch panels that drop into this uh, top. It'll give access to the uh, water pump and the water tank area here. This is very important. I never liked the way Coachman had the water and the electric together over there. I thought that was exceedingly dangerous to put them uh, together. Over here will be the heater access. You have the battery box down here. And then the center here, uh, Marshall will be able to uh, slide Walmart bins 
into this area underneath of here there'll be a uh, clear access to that uh to that area so um we're gonna thank you valerie we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything's tightened up but the next thing i'm gonna do is measure off for the uh measure off for that stringer and i'm gonna use a series of lag bolts to uh to bring that all together so hopefully you'll get a decent view over here kind of our moonshine barrel we have set up i think marshall's fiddling with the uh stream lab stuff to try to get that try to get that going so it's not an easy thing to uh it's not an easy thing to do so okay so i'm glad to welcome you all to the chat and, and uh happy happy uh wednesday to you so i'm gonna hop in the coach and i'm gonna go shift my power around and cut a uh, two by four to go across and string that area and that'll basically close up that uh close up that um that rectangle now with a lot of with a lot of strength to it so enjoy talk amongst yourself hello anna hitchcock nice to see you so i'll be in and out going back and forth uh, i have all the um see a lot of the materials are up here that we stripped out of the coach i wanted to save every single piece of this material uh for matching purposes uh the wood grain and all that to try to get a match on the wood grain a lot of the uh, uh you know was able to remove them without destroying it you can see some of the water damage that occurred over time here with the uh with the panel i don't you know thumbs up or appreciated but uh on january 3rd 2013 i set my thumbs up to always show and that's the way it is i am not a snowflake when it comes to that so i have my uh, cutting deck up here and uh have my uh, building supplies in this area so it's it's been pretty good we'll get good cleaned up when we finish that there's georgie what are you doing huh what are you doing huh what are you doing all right so i'll get this thing set up over here and we'll uh we'll go as long as we can today uh, set this up over here <clears throat> and we will get on with the build okay i got it plugged into my external uh, power supply so i'm going to go ahead and measure that stringer off Appreciate you guys being along today. Let's see where in the heck the pen went. We pulled everything out of here. Let's go ahead and get my pen.
be back in a minute guys I gotta cut a two by four here That's what's hard on the knees is getting that in and out of the coach all day. I'll use some drywall screws just to keep it temporarily in place and drill pre-drill a pilot holes for the lag bolt.
probably take two to hold it up. that seat huh all right that looks pretty good as a temporary hold now I'll get my bit and I will uh, I will pre-drill I will pre-drill there so yeah that's looking uh, looking pretty good for that over there to check everything with a level. Put a few more in just for holding. from Baltimore. Yeah, your tripod is in the corner. Take that to the moon. <laughs> man, I love this thing. Lunar this is, lander, this man. is worth 35 bucks, I'm telling you. <laughs> this thing is a lot better than what you got. Like of course. <laughs> look at this thing. My stuff is always junk, right? This is some good. Look at that. I just set up the Streamlabs. I'm in competition with Rosie. That's she doesn't right. want to show me how to do it. Marshall, because do you want me to build a van or be a Streamlabs yeah. instructor? I've been asking her about a month uh, now. Yeah, and then you're, you know. When you're water so, up to 1.30 in the morning, you can take time off of uh, dog you-know-what to work on that. So. Now right. I'm going on Streamlabs, so huh? I'm, I'm turning on my Streamlabs now, so. <laughs> yeah, she won't show me how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take time out today to sit down and do all of, do all of that. So. I spent about an hour just setting spend it up, see how it hour. works. Yes, sir. Spend about an hour. Streamlabs is the new it's secret. The new, it's the new thing, brother. It's the new it's fad. It's the new but, thing. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have to probably take her wig off live on the air, because so, that's the only way she's going to show me how to use the damn thing. Anybody, right. anyway, a lot of people wanted to see you with your wig off. Yeah, I know that, so we'll see. Maybe at the end of the build, I'll give everybody, uh, give everybody a treat. Um, let me go get my drill. So did you put that stringer in? Or is that, um... I have a temp in the back. You bet he's going to go all the way over. 
Okay. There, man, it's a big. Well, you big, need to bolt big. this thing in, right? Yeah, can I? I just have it tacked in right now. Oh, it's okay. in place because okay. I could have used your hand. But, uh, okay. Well, I mean, okay. is it level though? You got to make sure it's level. Of you. course it's level. <laughs> Putting it in, it's not level. Are you kidding me? Okay, let me. Yeah, uh, the king's uh, surveyor has to come out and make sure. Everything. Yeah, level. BBWs demand level, man. They can't be working yeah. off of. Uh, they can't be working off a of level. Yeah. Yep. Let me go on. Uh, I'm gonna go on Streamlabs and see how this thing works. I'm going on Streamlabs right now. Look at that bit frame, man. Woo. Twenty-one inches high. That thing is built nice, man. It's going to be a 38 inch by 70 inch bed in there. Well, probably even bigger because I'm going to overlap the, the wood frame. So, probably about 70 by 43. I'm going to go on my Streamlabs now, see how this works. I'll just download a Streamlabs. Love trash days. They were banging around at 6 a.m. at the end of my street. Yeah. Let's see, open. All right, so I wonder why this thing won't toggle on it. On, uh, so do you go to persistent active? Yeah, I go to uh, per, or, or create that. event. There's, there's four options there on Android. Yeah, I go to persistent. Is this gonna to toggle? Name? Is this gonna? What do you mean toggle? Is this gonna auto rotate or? I think it is. Or can see how yeah. it's. Well, you should put it down. Well, if it's well, not coming up like that now, you better check it. Your yeah, for some reason it ain't toggling. Switch camera, full preview. Hold camera rotation. Okay, I guess this thing is. Let's see how this comes out. I guess I'll. Let's see. So do you put it on whole cam rotation or auto fit, auto rotate and fit yeah, cam? Yeah, auto rotate, yeah. Let's see what okay. size lag bolts I'm going to use here. Man, I'd sure like to know where all the washers are. Well, you had them in two different bags, right? You had one in one bag and one in the other bag. Header support settings. Get my socket. Too old, the old war horse from Baltimore. Yeah, this is the last uh, lap. The last, the last hurrah. The last hurrah, brother. Yep. So you go to persistent, active, upcoming, or create event. Persistent. Okay, persistent. It says getting broadcast, getting streams. It's not doing nothing. It's just going through this thing, it ain't doing nothing. Yeah, it is, it's getting the stream. It takes a minute for the stream to activate. I think you're supposed to go to live to, to the other one. I've always just gone on persistent to the uh, channel. But I'm trying to yeah, now it's con going. Commit. Poor connection. So. 
I told you this stream lab uses a lot of. CPU. I didn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I did it before without that. Let's see. It says create a persistent stream to main channel other persistent stream. Create event. I always put create event and it works for me fine. Okay. It's got the counter going. Does that mean I'm live if the counter's going? Yeah. Yep. So is this toggled or is this you see it's how good. it's I gotta go check on my YouTube then see how it is. Yeah, you don't have anybody showing up yet. That's where they'll show up if you look at mine. Yeah, I know, but yours is... How come yours is toggled the right way? Mine's is still down there. something here. on your camera setting that, uh, you know, to uh, unlock from it. Hmm. I guess I got a... See if this uh, send the message out. It says zero people showing up. I don't even think it's working. Let me see what you shimming material horsepower.
Good on the knees. Oh, I'll show you guys for those just coming in. I'm just uh, bolting on over here the uh, side stringer. And I'm using a little bit of uh, shim material just in case this leg doesn't come all the way uh, forward or not quite even on this on the rib. So I'm using that as filler so we still get a lot of strength on that uh, 
on that connection there. So, oh man. All right. <clears throat> Yes, we'll be putting supports in the middle there too. Although, as configured now, that would easily be able to probably support uh, 500 pounds in the middle of that uh, span. That uses construction similar to you would do roof trusses and things like that with countersunk and uh, uh, put in those 2x4 spanners are very strong in there that are bridging between the two uh, two pieces. Yeah, the floors floor is all complete. Support a BBW. You know what it is with this thing? It's showing, it's playing, but the camera's only showing like a little screen. The camera's not set up right, and it, will, it won't allow people to talk. So something's wrong with it. You have to set up your alert box. I set that. I added that all up there. Let's see here. It's, uh, poor connection. Everything available on your stream will also be. What screen capture? I don't know what that means. Me, I guess you take a picture or something like that. Whatever's on the whatever's on the screen. Notification center. people can watch oh anyone they have it with link I guess I gotta put anyone huh. yeah, anyway. oh okay because it, it was set on just um, you might be or something. yeah it says anyone who can okay, now put it on anyone Orientation. Oh, portrait landscape. I want to put it on landscape. Okay, landscape. That looks pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Editor. Like a rock. Ooh. Not the country. 
So showing on, so alert box should be showing on stream, not hidden, right? That's correct. Oh, hidden, okay. Event list. Oh, that's donation goal. Marshall, give me a three inch lag, would you? Is this a two inch or a three inch right here? I think this is a two inch, right? Yeah, that's two. Where'd you put the three inch one? Uh, they're probably in a bag in the, over, in the, over in the build box. Well, I think I got some here. This is a three inch, right? This is it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, now I got it on the, the right orientation here. Hey, Norm F, Chairman of the Board, what's up? Hey, Norm. Can you need a level, Marshall? What do you need? The level, the small level. The small level? The bomb level, yeah. Okay. Don't come on knocking if the vans are rocking. Can you do this space woman outfit? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys are in heat. 
Top screen, it's showing all the people's names to the left, even though yeah. it's. If you look at it on the laptop screen, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's showing all these people's names to the left, and then it's showing the screen the other way. It's just not, you got to see it on the laptop to see what I'm talking about. Uh, it, let's it, see, it, you don't need that. Event list, hold on a minute. It's got all these people's uh, names to the. Delete that. What do you, what things? You want the chat box? If. Let's see the chat box. You got to see it on the yeah, laptop. Hold on. See I don't have to see it on the laptop. There we go. This should start showing up now. On there. It's got the people's names that uh, donated to the list. You don't need this, this jar. And then you have your big alert box here. You don't need this one either. Delete that. Master at work, nice war. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Woo! I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Very kind. Flip that around. Thank you, Norm. I appreciate that. Now we can enlarge your box here. All you can do so that'll fill your whole screen if something happens. And then uh, the uh, chat box showing on. Uh, do you want it showing on the stream or not showing? Because it'll come up here if it's sh if it's not showing on stream. No, no, that's showing yeah. on stream. I don't want that. Okay, so see if see what happens. I don't think you need a donation ticker. So there's that's the things that I use. Now you put check that. And uh, let's see, let's see what happens now, okay? Because it's just okay, showing. Okay, you got the... six people watching, so I can't assure. Uh, let's see if you can send a message here. Hold on. It a looks minute. like somebody unblocked this guy. L L O. Let's see if I show up. Yeah, see, so people can chat now. It'll show up on the screen. Oh, it'll show. Up. How did okay. this guy, this guy, get in there when you blocked him last night? How's he back in there? I don't know. Somebody must have unblocked I him. Keep moving forward. Yeah. Let me see here. I got a long way to go, brother. Screen, the uh, guy saying still screen sideways. Let me go check it on the left. I think it's still sideways. Thank you, Norm. Okay, let me see. Yeah, it wouldn't let me. Let me start it again. See what. does now. Fifty dollars from Glenda Robinson. Glenda! Thank you, sweetie. One of my great UK friends there. Thank you, Glenda. <laughs> Why don't you have the thing where it's Tells you when they donate on the Bluetooth speaker. You don't uh, use that. Because she didn't leave a me written message on. Her. Oh, that's why. Yeah, you can always type a message in. Oh, know. she just donated without putting the message in. Oh, yeah. I she's see. A sweetie, thank you, Glenda. Let me see what. She's, she's mellow and she's a really stand-up yeah. We only need 
one lag on each of these on the side. Thanks again, Glenda. Thank you, Norm. I guess I gotta get back in here. I think I gotta just uh, see what it does if we do that. Myself. Yeah. Well, now that I turned, it was showing sideways when I had it. Now that I turned it this way, it's showing you the right way, but it's only showing a four three, not a sixteen nine. So it's showing four. It's, it's showing you the right way now, but it's not all the way. I don't know. I, is a four three okay for this moment in time? Or? Well, I'm just saying I don't understand. Go to your settings. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like when I do it like this, it's it's okay, sideways. But when I go like this, it's showing you the right way, but it's not. Go to your settings. Okay. And then go to uh, actually go to editor. You'll see. I don't know whether it's settings. Edit or not. stream info. Yeah, not info. Uh, first, you got to put it on anyone to watch. Just, yeah. Otherwise, they can't. And let's see. Or connection. I guess I'm going to play around with it in there to see what... Yeah, something in there gives broadcast settings. We got the side member in there. Hey, Medi, long time no see. How are you? It's not hooked to the sides of the van, Vintage Soul Seeker. There's nothing that's hooked to the side of the van except on a rib. Uh, 
All right, this is this is designed so all of the weight is a vertical transfer here. There's nothing hanging on the side of the uh, coach to bow it or pull it inward. All the weight transfers down to the bottom of the uh, coach works. It's, there's no connection to the outer skin of the uh, coach whatsoever. So. <clears throat> We'll finish off those center posts and then we'll be able to lay in our one by one there and effectively set the uh, back of the uh, of the bed. I'll leave a little bit of room for putting down, you know, the uh, vinyl or whatever, the uh, wall panel there to have that slide in a little bit. So you always got to kind of think ahead of what's going to go where. And then uh, he wants a closet put in next to that to kind of close the uh, close the gap here because there'll still be some room there uh, so that you could actually hang up hang up uh, suits and uh, shirts and that kind of stuff. So okay. Yeah, I've got. Uh, I'm on my knee thing. I got my knee uh, thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go off and uh, I'm gonna go finish off these. Uh, I'm gonna go and finish off these uh, center posts here. I've got some shimming material in. I'll cut that back, and then I should be able to lay over uh, two by two into that uh, channel there. So, thank you, Beach. Thank you for your uh, support, honey. Much appreciated. Go ahead and just, uh, we'll be gone a long time out here today. I'm going to finish up this job, hopefully, on the... Oh, what's up, Bergs? How you doing, Bergs? So I'm going to uh, hopefully finish this up today, this uh, bed build. How you doing, Jackie? What's for dinner? I think I'm gonna have some spaghetti tonight. Yeah, Harvey, my knees are my right knee is shot because of a nightclub uh, brawl.
Just need the back retainer. We are all set. We are in business. Thirty-nine and a quarter. Alright, if you guys can hear me and see me, let me know. I'm streaming here on Streamlabs on my Elvis Travels here. Okay, Let's see how this works. Yeah. 
So this, um, this has got to be level with these, right? We've already run a level across. Oh, okay. I guess we'll do the trainers first and then the legs, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to Yeah, it's working. Yeah, I got it working. It's, uh, Give me the better tape measure, would you? Okay. I got the red one right here. I guess it's better to put these legs last than the... Uh, Hold that on that end. So what, what is it? What is it? Uh, that's 65 and a half compared to that. than anything that's out there. I can guarantee you that.
that link to that string right there? Was that a little 38 like that one? Yeah, 39 and a half. On this side? Okay, it's wider because this comes up. Yeah. So that's an inch and a half wider, huh? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's an inch and a half longer on this side, the yeah. stringer than that. That's not a template. Yeah. Because it's more, you got more space to go that way with the. Because that thing is pretty much kind of sitting. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe the fridge is. Uh, even if this is coming in at an angle, that's fine because you're getting more space. The important thing is it be level and it be strong with the right. most custom fit the panel because you want it as big as possible here. But I, had, I can only go as far over as the real well side. You can see I, uh, I uh, angled that wood to fit that uh, real well over there. Okay. Well, you have to make this because those are sitting inside and these are sitting outside. Yeah, you so wanted to maximize your bed space, right? Yeah. So now you have it. Now you have it totally well, the mattress can overlay on this. You can well, I mean, you, yeah, you, know, you can put the mattress as wide as you want. As you want. It's going to be a, there'll be a slight depression okay. and it'll shim up where it need be before the platform. Are you going to put a bolt on the, up here? I'm not, sure there? If I, I'm not sure if I want to go into the coach. I probably will over, over here. Shim that and go in. Okay. But, uh, I feel really good about this corner over here. Okay. Yeah. If you will, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it may be a little lag bolt here and there. Yeah, just got to be careful going into the metal there. So. Now, uh, now we can also come down with some. Uh, as long as you don't come out here, then you're fine. We can also come down with some, uh, you know, some backer on that, uh, on that thing. You don't have a closet over there, so. Oh, you mean on, yeah, oh, I see. Yeah. So this area has been kind of defined here, right? So, yeah, your total internal bed platforms have now been designed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This would be like uh, this area here. You want a closet over here, right? Yeah, you got all the space. Yeah, well, you can hang what you want. You can't put too high of a crossbar because it'll, your suits or whatever will stick out, so. Oh, I mean down here it's actually Yeah, you have to, yeah your hanging point has to be low and then use your space above for uh, putting things on shelving. Yeah, so I think I think maybe the closet then should be here and up here maybe it'll be a cabinet or something. Yeah, maybe a cabinet. Yeah, but I sure don't like that attaching thing up there, Marshall. That is really bad news, man. See, that I was thinking to myself, I could go to Ikea and get cabinets for up here to be yeah, mounted. What are you going to mount it on? I mean, it's like... Well, this is... This is how they made the coaches to stand up. I know, but it's going to be, you know, the angle of the cabinets, everything is going to be sliding out towards the center of the coach. So this would actually be wide enough for a little hanging closet, right? Like yeah. yeah. If you could push the panel, and you could actually hang, I could hang my Susie yeah. Elvis shirts right here. Yeah. And then so I want to run one, one, I want to run one side of the closet right up to the bed side. And then up to here? Exactly. Would you make this wide? Is this all this custom? Like up, up to here? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Wherever you want it run to. The issue with that is then you're limiting your your uh, store. Um, well, you got all the water tank's going to be there. Yeah, we got the water tank here. But then before we put any legs on it, we really should uh, make sure we're. I'm going to try to do leg. I'm going to try to do. Even if you put a closet, you can still get your hand on these things. I'm going to try to use rafter hangers to try to do, so you can remove the center. And I'm going to use a stationary stringer here, and I'm going to use a stationary, but then in the middle, I want to put uh, two stringers that will hang on joist hangers so that you can remove it if you need full access. You won't hit your head on trying to get down and work. So you're going to put three panels? Yeah, three, three panels. Okay. Yeah. Three panels. Right. Okay, so if you need, you can access the water compartment independently, the pump and all that stuff independently. Right. And then the uh, the house heater and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you put the pump in that corner, is that yeah, I'll put the pump in that the corner. This will be the, the at, least, at least we've separated the electric from the from motor, that, which, which was always good, my big bone of contention. You still going to have a little bit of water going through here. Where that's, yeah, that's fine. That's I'm fine. just going to run that around the uh, internal of the uh, legs and stuff. So, all right. So we're just we're just scoping out what we want to do. And we now finish the uh, now finish the back ledge yep. for the internal platform.
to lay on here and that should be and it don't have people, to be most people use wood screws like this but Rose no I don't want wood screws and she put in these you'll tear these, them out these yeah these bolts with washers and nuts <laughs> yeah these are really hex gives the structure a lot more strength hex bolts city. here and wood your legs screws. will add support too and, but uh, it's a big weight issue here and uh, I can't just depend on wood screws to hold this but, uh, to hold this together so you know, using so, this good two by four material, most yeah. of them they use this cheap stuff like this stuff. Yeah, this they use what, two by twos, and I don't really like using two by twos. They're very, they're not strong enough. These <laughs> except are nice. his, these except are... his back lips for things. So, yeah, these um, we'll be able to run great. some corner molding down here once the paneling is. That's easy. That's fun stuff doing that. Yeah, I like the little finish work. Yeah, finish work curious. will be good. That's why I've countersunk these in the back so that you can put. Uh, panel on the back of this and make it more finished. You don't want hex bolt head sticking out uh, on this. So, you know, there it is. You have hex bolt, hex bolts. Plus, there's a big span here. You know that has that uh, bolted on. So, um, the strength yeah. here is uh, superb. That's the number one thing: is the strength. <laughs> yeah, and strength, and it's not going to shake yeah. around. That's so I have my uh, plumb bob here, and we'll drop some lines down. Uh, for that, and we'll have so, to we'll have to check our measurements. One bolt there is fine on that one. You're saying on, on that corner? Yeah, I'd like to run a uh, floor, uh, floor stringers on the floor here. Okay. We have to be careful. We got the gas tank, but you know they're going to be L bracketed uh, down. And these so. legs too are also uh, these legs are also bolted on. Yeah, they're all to, bolted on. To, to yeah. These two by four. So, and then yeah. also these legs are lag. From Black below, screwed from yep. below, so it gives it more. Yeah, but there's a couple of other things that Rosie could add. Maybe putting the uh, putting this yeah, board, getting this into string the metal right onto the onto yeah. the coach right here, or you could yeah. put another board down. Well, there I might be able to get a uh, uh, you know, I have some sheet, not sheet, sheet metal, metal screw, but I have some machine screws that right. I can use to put in there. The more stable you get it, small washers, the better it is. When you're on the road and you hit bumps, yeah. It gets things loose. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, you know. Yep. So that was it. So and this is definitely more of a challenge than building a dinette. Uh, it's more because you have. Well, this little... you know, we got a lot going on in this area. I don't have anything really going on but, up on that area, so I got to be careful of gas tanks down here and all that. So we want to run a, uh, a plumber because your this... pan, your your panel, your side panel here is going to need to be affixed at the bottom too. Right. So we need to put a floor here, but we need right. to know the dimensions of the gas this is of the, the water part of the tank bed that I'm going to be going in and out of. Yes, this will be taken most of the way. You're not going right. to get. It's going to be right here in this yeah. area and here. Yeah, this is very crucial to be strong. And there's a lot of strength over there, as right. you can see. And with the mattress on and the plywood, it's even going to make it stronger. Right. It's well, the legs in the middle are also going to add strength. Right. Right here. And I'm going to make so uh, bolt-on. put on... one leg here and one. I yeah, guess, I'm going more. to make uh, bolt-on legs that can be, uh, if they have to be removed, that you can get it right down to this level, the whole build. Okay. Yeah. In case you need full access yeah. for everything, uh, for everything in there. How you doing, Run Mo? How you doing? Hello, Jessica, Jennifer. So that's why I have the plumb bob here, so we can find out exactly down from that point where I want to put the base stringer, and then hook my leg on there. You know, I got to hook the and leg. I guess on. this could be another area, or maybe a second battery. Can well, be I sure. always thought and you this... could put a. I could, you know, I could build out a higher tray over here, and then have a second battery uh, on that. It would have to be. Uh, uh, covered in a boxer. I wouldn't leave a raw battery. Uh, Unless it's sealed. But, yeah, uh, because, um, you know, because of heat and all that. But this could, would be I guess illogical. this would be, this would be a, a easier because instead of running all the wire, you could have it down here and have two batteries. Yeah. yeah. How you doing, uh, everybody? So, yeah. that's what we need to do next. I'm going to take a break to get some... I don't some... think people understand. They say the bed is high, but look, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, five no. foot. Oh, no. No. You're going to have, you're going to have six I, inches a, of about, mattress. It's about six feet up here. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of room. This is not a regular van. It's a camper. Right. I don't think people understand how high this is. Yeah, this will uh, this will this will have a back panel that can be removed back here if you need to access. The water tank's going to lay in here, so I need to know. Today we got to uh, figure out where we're going to put the water tank and then draw outline around it. Okay, so that's but very important uh, today. The position of that. the water tank. Yep. 
So, yeah. you know, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of thought, a lot of. So you know, I guess you can finish all the side stringers, and then when you put the water tank in, then that's when you can put the legs in. Or, yeah. Or you mark where the definition of the water tank is going to be, so, you, so the yeah. legs won't get in the way and stuff. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to bolt the legs on because uh, I want them to be able to unbolt in the future if need be. In other words, the best design for this would be is if you have to remove everything on top to get total access without right. stepping over stringers, then yeah. it's doable. Okay? I'll, I'll really never be getting back here for anything besides. Well, basically. I might be if I, if yeah. I have to access the water pump. I don't. I yeah, can yeah, just yeah. remove a couple. Just pop up a couple. Pop up a couple. Panels, unbolt yeah. a couple uh, things and drop off a couple uh, stringers. Let me get my rafter. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I don't know where the uh, rafter thing went. I had one sitting around here. I don't know. Why don't you see if you can grab me one of those joists, the rafter hanger. Uh, the, That's uh, that thing that looks like oh, that. The metal that, thing? Yeah, the metal thing. I oh, yeah, those things. No, I'm not Beta Boy Elvis. I'm, I can't do anything on my uh, stream. But I don't want this to be a stream of hate. Plenty of other places you can take that. This is a positive uh, channel here. <clears throat> I don't have any ability on Streamlabs to time anybody out or do anything here. I'm totally dependent on my moderators here. How you doing, Kyle? Uh, yeah, you have to think of you have to think. How you doing, Scott? You got to think of future. What's it going to be like to access? I'd like to get the saws all and reduce these bolts, but I probably won't. And then I'll try to uh, try to incorporate these uh, these rafters to hold down, just like what you would a regular bed, to let these uh, bolt against the side, you know, like that, to be able to hold, you know, to hold the uh, side stringers here. Okay. So you just have to remove, uh, just have to remove that. How you doing, Johnny Wad? What's oh, up? Sandy, he's on mine. How you doing? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just. All right. Let me set this back up here again. Oh, I don't know. There's a lot I can't do, Dawn. That's for sure. I've never been a very good golfer. I think we need to do like a little water test on that tank. Uh, well, you're going to have to do that, okay? Uh, how do we do uh, that? Just fill it up with water? Just fill it up and sit it on a pat the patio or something, let it dry, and then go back and see if it's losing any water on it. Okay. Because if you need to get a tank, you need to get a tank. Okay? Right, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah. I could, if a smaller tank, I might be able to get into that side compartment on that side. So, right. you know. Yep, Johnny Wad. Sixty changes everything. So, okay. So maybe I should do that. And I, I mean, well, it's, uh, I, can, I can I can start working on the side. Yeah, you can do you can do the side stringers. That's not in the, that's not in the yeah, way. I yeah. want to go as close to here as possible. We have to maintain this center for storage. Okay. Right. Right. But I but I need to also put the uh, have it set so I can put a panel yeah. on this side. And then redo the refrigerator bottom. Here, so. and and that has to be done in the yeah, last grab a 2x4 so we can look at that. I guess I can, uh, maybe I can fill up the water tank and then just. Uh, yeah. that has to be so we need, uh, we need something about on that plane right there. And then from top to bottom, I can put, I can put some uh, panels and I can hang up. One up here, and then I have something to fix the panel. Oh, like a little base? Yeah, exactly. I need to have a base. So I prefer to sit it this way. Well, to gain more storage. Be able because to, but I might have to notch out a little bit for the uh, for the vent stack here. Yeah, that has yeah I don't want to mount it that way if possible. Well, if you mount it uh, this way, I guess you. I only need enough to fix it some panels. So that's all I need. Right. That's all I need. And then the pan link can hook on the, hook on the side. Okay. And it's only going to go back to a point where your water tank is going to be encapsulated by some... Can you use a finished one by one? Is that, this is what's going to hold your water oh, tank. Okay. 
into place. Right. We have we can we can affix stuff back here. Okay. okay. Now can you use a thinner strip than that? Because that's coming into the storm area. Well, it's different. on. A, I'm putting on a line like that. Okay. So that when you put your sheet of uh, finished material on the side, I can always use what that. What base are you going to use that? I can always use that. Uh, okay. You know. One of those, yeah, yeah. But I would okay. prefer, you know, the stability to use that, and I'm not really happy with, you know, I don't have to use the, uh, the uh, two what are, you, what are you going to put underneath there to make sure that support that uh, area there? I'm going to pull that out separately and work on that and build that up. I'm going to put some more base behind that. You mean from the front? Yeah, from oh, the front. Oh, yeah. Also, this is just a little board. For the yeah. Panel. Okay. Now I can't. I don't know how far to run this back at the current time, but I don't need to worry about that today. I do need to put the legs on so it's clear of the uh, clear of the water tank because the water tank is sitting, sitting uh, here. So what there. we need to do is have that empty water tank sit in here, dry fit it in here, and then okay. mark around it so I know the area I'm working in. And okay. then I'll come in back later and, and encapsulate, encapsulate that water tank okay. with the straps right. and everything like that. Okay, so it won't shift. At oh. all. Okay. So, and, I, okay. and we can also use those little straps. To yeah, it's going to put strapping on top of this right, stuff. Right, right, And then uh, have the straps. So you'll work on that separately, the base, the wayfaring, all that. Then. Yeah, I want to work on that fridge base separately because okay. I have to cut out the blower is now being moved over to that to outlet that area. being moved over. That's going to be a hard turn across the front of that too. So I need room to uh, yeah. to run that. So. As long as I got room to make that turn, it's okay. And then it's got to make another hard turn yeah. underneath. So it's what about that propane one being close to the furnace? Or I think that's a, that was the position that we did. Okay. Yeah. Raise that up an inch or two. Right? I mean, it's got some flex. I, I would try not to cut the propane okay. line if possible. So if we were to put another battery in here, would you clear this area and put it here? I build a box over that area figure out what to do with that electric. This is I have to put a junction box in for the refrigerator since we've removed the outlet okay. for that. So, so now I guess you can concentrate on the stringers and the, and the water tank placement, right? You want, you're going to work on the stringers or the water tank? Yeah, well, and we need to sit the water tank down so okay. I understand right. the position of it. So. Okay, let me, and then we can go over work on it. A lot of stuff you got to think ahead on this. Right, put that and get an idea. Also, where we're going to put the legs too, because this has got to go in here. Well, so. that's what I mean. I can't place legs. Right. Over we got to figure out what you're going to do exactly. Uh -huh. So this is going to go like this. Yeah, I need I need some distance here to uh, right. And you got to be able to shut the door too. Remember. So. Well, remember this. You got, yeah. This is an automatic stop for you to work. That's what I'm thinking. What to bolt it here? Because when you shut this door, it's going to be kind of pushing into this a little bit. And that's why it's nice to have these, I guess. Well, let's remove the water tank then and let's, uh, let's run some machine screws through that wood over there and get it to the metal of the frame. And I'm going to get something to drink right now. So I've got to take a break. All right. All right, so that looks pretty good, huh? Well, yeah, you got the plumbing right there, so I guess that can well, be... Love you, Rosie. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Woo! Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate that. Kyle in the super chat. Thank you. The more far back you can set this, the better, because the more storage you're going to have up in this area. In the exactly. That's the key thing. And then exactly. also, this is going to be more accessible storage, so the more you can move it maximally. No, I don't want to be too close to the battery box. Right. Well, in case we ever have a leak, that you'll just everything like well crazy. this is all sealed well it's not you know there's still going to be water mm. hitting all down in here with all that but i would try to center that as much as possible because remember the water pumps going to yeah. be here so you know because i also need to run a two by two along here to capture the uh back paneling or whatever okay 
So I need to leave tap. Can you hand me that? Yeah. I need to have enough like that to put the panel on the back. And I think, see, I think the water leak that's coming from this thing is from these necks. I hope I it doesn't have a water leak, Marshall. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. If it has a water leak, it's game over. So, so I need to, so I guess uh, you want to, you want me to fill it up and do a test? Well, you got to plug the line at the bottom. It's just going to be a drain, yeah. drain, where's go find a drain cock. I always turn off the uh, drain cock and just oh. put it on the bottom. But right now you can remove the water tank, okay? Okay. I'm afraid this thing's going to get damaged. Yeah. That thing's so brittle. If you snap a fart, man, that thing will explode. Well, this has caused a lot of water leaks. That's what I'm saying. I gotta. I have to define if this is gonna. If oh, it's gonna drain out of the bottom. You're saying that. Out of well, I've got, uh, you know, I've got some bottom drains here. This is this goes to the water pump. Yeah. This is a vent line. This is your drain cock. So if you're gonna test it, you're gonna have to put so the, some bag or something. And, rubber bands around there okay yeah all right all right so we're yeah, done with if this if this now? is leaking it's useless yeah. yeah okay go ahead that's what i'm it'll destroy everything that was done oh yeah. that's what i'm saying All right, guys, I'm going to get something to drink. Now my hands smell like fish again. <laughs> A permanent, at least let me know how much clearance I have to work with and put legs down on this thing. They should kind of mark it uh, up. Yeah, I need to mark it up now. Let's see what. Where are my dog on panel? Depends on the. Uh, this Sharpie's just about dry. Need to mark up the thing. Yeah. I'm going to shut this door so you know well. Well, remember, you got this. Nothing's ever going to interfere with you. Okay. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. When you shut the door, these, it, that's what it's going to be. That's fine. It's fine. Nice to have this more. Okay. I don't want to pull the frame apart either, remember? Right, right. So, well, not, it's fine the way it is, yeah, actually. Well, no, I'm going to put some shim in there so I'm not drawing yeah, it. Yeah, well, I, I see what you're saying. If you put it in yeah. here, then it might pull this apart so yeah i don't, no, think, I don't I, think i need it so. i don't think i need it no no, no. Tell you the truth this thing's like a rock you're fine because if you put a bolt in here it's going to pull here. this away from well it won't if i shim it here oh, then it won't it. pull away and it might well, I, I see what you're talking about now i don't think you need it now that All i right, see where's that two by two again just done that yeah. okay. i've got to have enough to put paneling and i also need to put some finish I need to run a finish, finish edge uh, down right. here too, so, okay. Can you hand me that measuring thing?
Yeah, I guess you kind of got to get an idea of where it's going to go. Yeah, I got to have an idea. If you got to put the legs, I guess you can push it forward if you want. I need to be able to get two bikes here. Push it to uh, yeah, see. And all you have over here is that is that pipe there. You see that pipe right there? That's what's stopping it from coming over. Still a pretty good distribution right there. Because I'm looking right on the center line with the coach right here. Right. Okay. In other words, hold that down. There. center line, where possible, we want to have that thing right on, right on center. Right. I got a lot of area to put a water pump in here. Right. You know, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Remember, in the future, your drain pot's just going to come out the door. You're not going to, we're not going to drill a hole through the coach for the uh, to drain. You just run it out the door. It'll be looped. It'll be a coil yeah. of hose. It just can be uncoiled and then. Yeah, so there's, let's go ahead. So I was thinking, um, <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking that if you were to mount the water pump in, in this area right here, yeah. that's some good storage right there. But if you were to mount it here, it would actually fit perfect in that. In this little area that way that would kind of it's open. also easier because I have my uh, uh, lines here. Your lines you know. there instead of coming around there. Yeah. So if you actually were to mount it right there, it'd be the perfect place. Yeah, if for I it. can, I'll put it there. I just have to yeah, see no. when I get out. I haven't disconnected. I need to address the electrical system. Well, well, I need to plug that bottom one you're saying, right? There's some which bottom. But to fill it up to do a water put, test. Yeah. You could also sit it up this way. I need to test the fitting. Yeah, you only have, if you sit it this way, you only have to plug this one, okay? Sit up this way and fill it from here. You'll oh, be able to see if it leaks or not. So why don't you remove the tank? Okay. okay? 
You got an idea where you were? Yeah, so I have an idea where that needs to go. And that, that takes up a lot of room. I don't know if you could use it because it, it now, does take you, up a lot of room and then plus it. it you got uh, that line good and seeable for me. I got very bad sight, so it, you have that really press down on there? Let me see. I have very low vision. Oh, no, I don't actually. Yeah, I see. Yeah. See? Yep. <coughs> okay, remove that now. I need it. Just, let's get a pen and just delineate that a little more. Not 100 percent. We're going to go with this because it's well. Uh, but you know, am I supposed to wait to? You know, I can't hold up the whole build while we're doing that thing. So I'm going to put a pen. <laughs> Sure before you fill it, you sit it on the concrete, or otherwise we'll, you may not notice it going into the ground there.
What's going on guys? I gotta go test this water tank out here. Um, so I'm gonna test it out. Yeah, I'm leaving Johnny Watt. I'm coming to Rosarito. Hey, how do you turn that water on back there? Thanks for being along, everybody. Uh. Hey, Vinny, how you doing?
There you go, Vinny. Vinny's like, I'll have Rosie on my crew any time. Uh, I guess I'll heat up some uh, leftover stew. <laughs> the disco inferno ball. I heard somebody say burn, baby, burn. Um, disco inferno. Da -da, do, 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 do. Love you, Winky. Yeah, I don't know about the hot tub. I might shift that tank forward a little bit. Turn the water pump on without worrying about where the uh, water was coming out. That's uh, one totally soaked jackknife bed now. Because when you turn the pump on, you didn't check the uh, outlet end and it just sprayed all over everywhere.
body wasn't a wet jack knife. <laughs> wet jack knife sofa. <laughs> Vinny, <laughs> please, God Almighty, uh, I have enough trouble sleeping at night. bed is just soaking. Yes, sir. Be on Vinny's construction team. Team Vinny J. Team Vinny J.
Team Vinny G. <laughs> Good Lord, Vinny. Team Vinny J. Wouldn't that be a hoot to be on Vinny's, uh, one of Vinny's work crews? Uh, just tack this into place. Definitely want this thing to be under a little bit of a load as it's being built. Hey, for you guys on Elvis Travels, if you can hear me or see me. Uh, Marshall, I'm all clear in this area. Oh, okay, you are? Yeah, I want to ask you. Okay. Uh, let me just plug my thing down and then there's a battery on it. Down here, I want to put a... Uh, okay. Give me a second, let me just put my thing down. I want to put it size Okay. Let me get my thing real quick. start that router of yours or it's acting up. Well, you're a good distance away from that. Uh... No, I'm not. I'm on, on my cell Wi-Fi. I'm saying the laptop. Okay. Well, There's something going on with that uh, router. All you to do is just remind me when I'm in there and yep. I'll do it. All right. Let me just... Get this thing built. All right. Shoe block under here. Okay. Uh oh. Battery went off. Look. I just want to make sure I'm clear. I want to mount a uh, shoe block down here and then screw into that on the side. Okay. So I got to make sure I'm all clear down in that area. Again. Oh, you mean as far as yeah, the underneath? Yeah, okay. okay. Is that, um, the 
It's by the black tank. The black tank is going down there, right. so. Yeah, you should, uh, right there in that area. Yeah, the black tank is on, is on hangers, so you're not okay. going to hit anything, you're fine. Yeah, now we need to find my 5 I need to find the 5 16 drill. So that area looks good right there? Yeah, that's okay. a, ahead of that. Keep, keep, an the, keep an eye on it because the black thing is mounted on the on the on the uh, on those little center channels, so it's elevated. Okay, so I'm gonna drop two down right now. <sighs> I don't know where my battery went off. I thought this thing's plugged in. Yep. goes off do you got to restart it with another one yeah it's just Probably. what happens it, it doesn't might, it might pick it up if you just put persistent again sometimes it'll match them up but sometimes it starts a whole separate stream and it doesn't save that if you go off before you end well it? I'm not sure about a time thing uh, or something like that shoot Dude, where's So if you want to resume, you just hit live, you just... Yep. I guess it's going to make me start a new one, I guess. It's a rainy night in Georgia. Ooh, rainy night in Georgia. Oh, where are my drill bits?
like that, the ends of it have swelled up where it's taking on, you gotta take a look at it, it's taking up the weight. What does that mean? The way it's sitting right now, it's, because it's not in its natural position, it's taking, it's bowing out. You might want to take a look at it and see. What, well, you're only going to be doing it in a couple of minutes, right? So what, so what do I do right now? Do are I, you seeing anything coming out? No, but it's some kind of color. Uh, okay. It's a rainy night in Georgia. It's a rainy night in Georgia. Not many bolts. thing always has a it has some kind of glitch it doesn't plug yeah, and play I told you, it uses a lot of cpu but it doesn't like it it won't even uh, like it you always have to do something to make it work like it yeah that's why people hate streamlabs switch camera edit stream info yep i don't know why it always has it with link anyone it's always got something to it this thing I can be on 
on his team anytime. <laughs> Vinny G. Vinny's crew. Good leg right here. See if this thing is playing this way, it wasn't public. Okay. Yeah, it always says it to with link. That's why people don't like this. Is, to this is a pain in the butt. Yeah. It's a nightmare. I yeah. mean, when it works, there's nothing like it. When it doesn't work, doesn't work it's a you know what you know what you know what it's streamlabs day here on the build <laughs> It's bloody stream lab thing. Bloody stream lad day on the Vinny G build, mate. Oh, it's getting chilly out of here. Thank you, Jack. Jessica Jennifer is going to be here all week, appearing all week. Appearing all week, folks. Appearing all week.
that sucker. Marshall, the heat is in the tools. The heat is in the tools. I used to work construction sites and complain, and then the boss said, yeah, his boss tells him that the heat is in the tools, get working. Get this one a little closer to the ceiling. The heat is in the tools, baby. <sighs>
Heat is in the tool. And you can talk to Queen Mary on that thing. Just gonna toe screw that one here. And if the band's a rockin', baby.
Man, that thing is strong. Watch me detach a retina. <laughs> Okay, that'll take a lot of stress off of the uh, sister joints uh, on here. I would just have to get something chooching for the back of the coach. I'm going to take a break for a couple minutes. Thanks for being here today, guys. I appreciate it. That could probably support uh, a that could probably support a thousand pounds on there. There's nothing pulling on the side of the coach either. That's all an independent freestanding frame there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> we just have to run some more lipping around and segregate this into uh, separate uh, separate compartments here. And we should be good to go. Uh, he wants the closet over here next to that. This was a lot to fit these in on this side over here. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Winky. Where is it? Nothing's been really tightened down yet. But... You could support a lot of weight on that. Well, I did two years of uh, house construction. I've never really done an RV uh, uh, wood to metal build out before. <clears throat> what did Vinny say? <laughs> oh, I ain't nothing, Jessica. I'm auditioning for Vinny G's. Uh, I'm auditioning for Vinny G's crew. Thank you, everybody. Uh, the four-poster bed. Can you imagine that? <laughs> the four-poster bed. Woo! <clears throat> the area we, we got to be careful is over the gas tank is right down here. The rear gas tank, so... It's always really dicey. That should be a heck of a strong bed. I'm not sure it's going to be a big, uh, this is a pretty good sized bed. Especially for a solo traveler who dreams a lot. And we'll run some stringers across center here that are removable. Have these uh, joist hangers for that. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. Yeah, take the wheels out. That's it. I appreciate that. No, he wanted it. He wanted. He wants to get a custom-made mattress. You may actually find that a uh, twin is very comfortable on there.
Yeah, we stopped at a place in uh, Bakersfield that does custom mattresses. The price wasn't bad down there. Bad for Rosie, but good for him. I'd sleep on a gym mat. I wouldn't care as long as it was, as long as it was cheap. Oh, actually, I'm kind of glad to be working by myself today.
I'm setting up a uh, what they call a plumb bob there that's what that gold thing is it's hanging down so that I can establish my uh, drop point for the leg and ensure that I'm well behind that uh, doesn't have to be perfectly in the center but I'm well behind that uh, uh, pantry cabinet there all right Yeah, I want to drop a I want to drop some blocking back here, but so I want to make sure that I'm okay. Down below to be watching. Okay. Because I'm going to come in real slow. Okay. Whoa. 
there. No, I'm going to put a footer in over there. Just like I have right here. So this is just a footer, right? Yeah, well, it's already been started. It's already been started. Yeah. So these don't have to be lag bolted, this is fine. This is carrot bolted up to the lag bolted. That's fine. So it's for it's for vertical weight, weight support. Okay. Yeah. Same same thing over yeah. here. So okay. I measured with that. I have uh, I have room back here. So you're Probably basically in the same over just a little bit, like, yeah. so that I'm in line with the uh, I'm in line with the pods a little bit over there. Okay, okay. So I don't want to be perfect, but I'd like to be able to attach paneling to that over there on the side. Just want to know so, um, I'm just going to tack that in place right now, okay? And then just to be on the standby, okay? I'm going to. I'm going to put these on the... Uh, okay, yeah, put them in the box and yeah, let me... You don't need any of these tools here? Uh, I don't think I'm going to need any of those tools there yeah, right now, yeah. Yeah, I don't really think I'll be coming down that far, maybe one inch.
Yeah, it's coming together, guys. It's coming together. The um, try to go on stream labs, and this thing is kind of messed up. So I'm gonna come back with YouTube. It's chilly today here. It's like 60 degrees, and it's getting pretty chilly. So this thing's gonna warm up, but today's a pretty chilly day. It's overcast. It's still a nice day for the van build. It's about 60 degrees right now, I think. And chilly breeze, so it's starting to get chilly here. So this was the biggest part of the project was this bed frame, guys. This was a very time-consuming thing here. We've been working on this for about four, three, four days. And this um, is the is the most major part of the build here. Uh, with all the things that are with all the measurements and cutting and mounting. This is the, the this is the big deal here, real big deal. So that's going to be aligned with the cabinet. In other words, the yeah, I have to put a two by four uh, down to where the wood attached. So maybe that can be kind of a support for the cabinet then too. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's got a deep door for it. So right. Why don't you get down under the coach? And that's in line with the uh, pantry or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so that's in the same. Are you going to put it internally like that? It's going to look yeah, better because if you do it the other way. It has to be internal. Oh, okay. This is our real danger one over here. Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. All right, so why don't you slide up the middle? Let me see, we're about, uh, you're about I'm 15, right 16 the, uh, inches from me. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to come through slow, okay, in case I blow up. If I regard what I draw for. Let me just see real quick. Now there is a the fuel vent line is going towards there. I'm gonna come through slowly, okay? Yeah, let me let me just The fuel vent line is there, but you got you got some clarity. So I think you'll yeah, just keep an eye on it because I'm gonna come through slow. Yeah. Alright, tell me when. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I don't see where it's at. Hold on, man. It's currently put down on. You got the fuel vent line here. I might want to bend this back here if you're going to go over I'm right coming here. through about three quarters of an inch. You see anything yet? I don't see it. How about now? I, I, let me see. Let me get back down here. I can't see it from the single here. I only got about a half an inch more to go. Yeah, I'm trying to see where it's at. I can't see it. Okay, yeah, I see it. You're clear. You're fine over there. Well, let me see. Can you take it in and out so I can see it at least? <laughs> no, because if you can't see it, it's all good. Unless I missed on the block anyway. I guess those are... <sighs> let me know when you're ready. I got another half inch here. I think you're in there, I guess. Tell I see me some trees here, but I don't know where. Tell me when. Are you going through now? Yeah, I'm already in. I'm going to put a second one in. How many did you just put down? Two. I just can't see where it's at. I don't know. I don't know if it's these two that you put down or I don't, I don't understand where it is. It didn't blow up, so. 
there's two screws down there, but I don't. You can go down. Now you go past that, you're getting closer to the floor. Okay, we got to put one more. We got another leg here. Okay, okay. on the high danger area. So you're not going to put a lag bolt on this one. It doesn't need one. I'm going to put a lag bolt right here. Okay. So give me my big fat drill right there. I need a drill right here. Okay. So you can get a set up a long bolt, but not super long. Just a regular size. Okay. I'm going to need my uh, speed four pounder. Is this the size that you want here? I think that'll be okay. Yeah, to get the bar screw. Yeah. And, uh, get the yeah. Okay. I need uh, another bar screw for the other side. Not here. Will work? No, I need a half inch. Half inch.
Alright guys, we made a lot of progress today. We just got one more uh, one more leg to do here. And uh, this thing should be able to support an incredible amount of, of uh, weight here. We got one more leg we got to put down in the real hot zone right down there. But otherwise we have a well supported, uh, got a good frame there. <laughs> the blinker fluid. <laughs> but, uh, actually, it helped me make a lot more speed today. Uh, you know, working working solo, it's the way I'm used. The boss tells you what to do, and you do it. So, oh, okay, thank Yeah, I've been gone three and a half hours. Oh, cool, okay. I actually started about five hours ago, but only went live a little bit ago. So, pretty happy about the way things are uh, way things are going. It almost looks like an operating table in the in the uh, operating table in there. custom fit in there. So, Tried to minimize the use of footers on there. You want to take a look at where those screws went, Rosie? Which one? That one over there so you can identify this one over there? No. It's, uh, if I don't see them, I don't have to worry about them. Remember, these had to come through the block, the half inch of material on the floor, the metal, and then go down to the... Uh, yeah. So I doubt if they uh, made it. So it gives me a little more confidence working over in the hot zone over here. Yeah. Uh, so I have to figure out how I'm going to... I'll have to hook that one even more internally than the other one. So I'll have to put that... Uh, probably put that... Well, the, are you going to use that for, to support that refrigerator also, right? <laughs> that leg there? The leg that you put here, are you going to use that for also for support? For I'll that? be using that to eventually put, uh, uh, you know, to put a refrigerator or well, that, but I can add some frame to that for that. Yeah. Right now I'm bleeding. I cut the hell out of myself. Oh, did you work? Work yeah. yeah. on one of these bolts? Yeah. 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 So we got to be very careful. You got to be careful over here. If this thing is sharp. I would hit that. Yeah. So yeah be I right. wouldn't wear flip flops. You're It's not strong. That's darn sure. So that's the last leg, basically. That's the last it. leg, and then we have to hang the cross stringers for it. Are you done with that one? With that stringer? Yeah, I'm done. I decide. I don't really feel the need to drill into the speed. No, because I think if you do, I kind of agree I'm going to pull the If you do, you're going to pull the bed apart. Pull the bed yeah. apart. Yeah, and it's and better. It's stronger that. the way it is now. The reason now. it's wider here is because they're inset on the back of right. the here. And they're to the uh, outside. I, I, now that I see what it is, because if you pull it, it'll pull it apart and it'll make it weaker, so it's right. actually better the way it is. It should be fine. It should be fine now. I see what you're talking about. Now, if you were to build like a stationary dinette, then yeah, you could have went in there. Well, I'm, I'm much more yeah. comfortable up there. Here, I feel like we're going to blow up any minute back here. But this. Yeah. 
bottom line is you have a super strong bed, custom made, as big as it could possibly be, because it can't be any bigger on the back. You can always finish this off with paneling on it. Well, that's what I tried to say, groom, so that I can put some, put some panel on here, um, get some, a little bit of corn, put a little bit of uh, blocking down there, to secure the corn up here. So it'll be very nice. You might want to have a, well, you can't because of water tank there, but try to have a sight line for the water tank so you can see what your level is and all that. Um, I'll still be able to open this. Well, I'll be able to open this door, remember? There's no obstruction. Yeah, there's nothing. It's all back behind uh, the... Uh, and I'll be behind. able to see what's, how much I got in the water tank. Yeah. But we got to really make sure that that thing ain't leaking before we put it in well, here. Well, I'm right? leaving that up to you. I'm not taking responsibility for your water tank. That's going to be you, okay? It's, it's only a downside with me if I tell you, let's go with this one, and it leaks, it'll be like Rosie made the call. There's that Maybe I'm call. just better off just buying a new one. Just well, sure. I would downsize to maybe a 20 gallon or something, but that's your call, you know, whatever you want to do. I don't, that's, that's the thing with that thing leaking, is that it caused a lot of damage. It did? Uh, well, are you sure it's leaking, or was it plumbing underneath the sink, or was it a refrigerator? Well, I think when you fill it up. I never when, really when, saw when, any when, evidence. When you of fill it up, it sloshes around. Yeah, and then but there so shouldn't be a way for that to come out of the tank. See here it'll be transactional, it's not going to have, it'll only have a little bit of oh, forward backward, it won't have the full travel of the tank. It's best not to fill it up all the way, that's one thing, but another thing is the sloshing, and I think it's coming out of those ports on the side, it's not coming from the, it's not the correct, itself. it's coming okay. from the, uh, and I say let's use it, you know? but we need to put some, we need to put some silicone there or some something to seal it up. If you show me a spot that's leaking, well, know. I don't know. That's 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 that's, that's that's the problem is that you fill it up and then it leaks all over the place. Right. Where it's leaking from is is the. So is, you've is, seen it leak. Oh now, yeah. You don't oh, think yeah. it's a hose fitting on there? I think I think it's one of the hose fittings okay. that's on there, and when it slushes around, it comes out of that. So it has. We need to we need to fill it up, seal it and up. You and you need then, to block all of those holes. You're going to have to get some short lengths of hose and kink them over and uh, clamp them and then fill the thing and see what happens. That's, that's, that's what it is. But at and least I have the outline. You can see where the uh, water tank goes in front of here and it goes right here. So this is actually helping to encapsulate the water tank on the back of it. Okay. Right <coughs> well, we really got to make sure with that because that thing has been it's a huge problem. In it. So. We need to uh, figure out what's going on with it. And, uh, I, uh, so when you put water in there, it sloshes around. Then why it comes don't you out. just? Why don't they're only a hundred some bucks? Why don't you just buy a new, you know, like a twenty, a new twenty one. gallon tank? Right. I probably will do that. And we can just strap it down. Right. You know, we know basically we got this area to work with back there. Right, right. We shouldn't rush that. I think yeah. if we're going to use that, it needs to be thoroughly tested. And we need to test well, I think how old is it? Yeah, it's, it's 30 years old. Yeah. How much more do you think it'll go before the cement gives away? Uh, right. You know, I think I'd just go ahead and order a new tank. You know? It'll have a fresh ventilator vent nipple on it and all that. So. But that'll be your, let that be your call on that. We need to test it out because there's a lot of water in that area. Even the water pump needs to be tested out. Make sure you got to make sure the water lines are not leaking too. That's another thing, so. But uh, that needs to be tested out thoroughly. Uh, these, there's some water lines here. This is fine, it hasn't leaked. Yeah, I don't think there's an issue there. But, uh, yeah, it's a dirty important thing, so. Yes, uh, I think it did a great day's work today. Really thrilled with how strong that is now, how level everything is, how it's wider at this end. If you want to work it, you have an extra two inches over this end. Got a good fit. Now you didn't put those two together, I noticed. Those Which two on that corner, you didn't put those.
those two two by fours together. They are. Even the lag bolt. Yeah, they don't need the lag bolt. Oh, that. So it's just that. So what? What's keeping them together? Is there something that? Well, I have bolts on the other side. These three one-inch platform sheet goods won't won't be the same size on each side. One will be this will probably be a bigger win. This will be uh, this will probably be your smallest one. Now, if you need well, to I access, won't, I won't be getting into this area that much. It's no, you won't. Bigger. But if I'll you do need to access it, here, 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 here. you I mean, can lift the boards no, yeah. off of the rafter, and right. then you have an open work area to be in here, yeah. as opposed to a pain in the butt to. Right. have boards overhead that you have to take off. Right. Okay, we're only using them for center uh, support. Well, the now. bigger the board, the better. So this well, I'm putting, I'm running two there, so, right. you know, I don't see any, I don't yeah. see much. I won't have to get down here, I'll just have storage down there, I won't have to really get, unless I have a water leak, uh, you know, there's no other reason to get down here. I barely use that furnace. This is the battery box that's sealed. I guess that's going to be a crucial point there too, as a mounting point, and also as a well, it'll be your four four leg of support. There's no way the bed will ever, uh, you know, bow down in the middle now with that. It's awesome. So you're going to lay these stringers this way? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And only three? Only two. Only two. One and one. You already got all the supports you need. Yeah, the stringers are just a... I may, uh, I may end up holding them. I don't know. Okay. I kind of like the idea of them being removable so you can work, if you ever have to work in this area, you don't have to come underneath the, you know, work around, the work around stringers and drop things. Measure this area and see the water point we can get in, and, uh, and uh, I'm gonna leave that in your hands because I gotta move forward with this to uh, build yeah. and uh, get this thing finished. And think about how uh, I'm gonna detail it. best I can do. Is that the strongest belt bed ever built in a coach? <laughs> there it is, by far. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to warm up tomorrow. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, it's chilly. 
see what they think over we'll there. See. Yeah. yeah. Well. Hmm. Signature Mister. That's about the only guy I want to talk to in her. What do you think, Sig? Signature Mister? To test the bed out for me. <laughs> yeah, you can sit on it and try it out. Go plunk yourself down on one of the. Well, I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. I, I believe you. Yeah, I don't want to put any finished materials in the coach until everything's all done. Yep. That'll be at the end. We, uh, Yep. Thank you, Browry. I appreciate that. Yeah, that'll uh, definitely. This uh, Streamlabs has really stressed me out today. I was so ticked off at it, man. Now you I know what I of, went through man. when I decided to start using it in Oakland a year ago. You it know what I went through. Unbelievable to work with. This I was thing. like the first adopter in the community, and it was insane. So everybody jumped to stream yard and zoom and right. I still toughed it out with it. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. I think it turned out good. I think Marshall's pretty happy with the state of the uh, bed. He's well, got the it's biggest been a, bed. It's been a good day, but it's been a little bit of a weird day because it is a lot cooler. It's usually 80 degrees and sunny here. But it's 60 degrees now. It's chilly. You need like a, a sweater on. I know. That's why. And uh, also the Streamlabs thing stressed me out. And then Rosie's internet here, the hardwire internet, is become going off. I don't know if you got to restore a router. So it's been kind of a... I've had that Motorola about three years. It stayed on 24-7. Really? For I think it's probably time for you to get another router, Rosie. That router of yours is well, really Well, you know shot. what to get me for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the router. Yeah. She I'm needs, put it she on needs, my a, wish she needs a new router. That router is. Uh, uh, I don't I'm think it's put that on my wish list for Christmas. The Amazon wish list. Yeah, you guys, yep. you need to get Rosie a router. No, you need to get it. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> you guys, hey, she needs a router at the ranch. I'm telling you, this internet is not streaming good here. So send a Rosie a router to the rancho. Rancho to Rosie and Jen, P.O. Box. <laughs> send her Rosie. A and she needs one, you know? That's funny. So, um, I just think, I knew this was going to take a lot of time. I knew it, was, it would take a week to do this because it's it's a lot of engineering. It's in a there. lot of engineering and design, a lot of measuring. But um, bottom line is, is we thought about it, we did it. Yep. We used good materials, 2 by 4 pine, really nice stuff. Lag bolts, hex. These are the hex. Uh, yeah, bolts. hex bolts. Yeah. With the washers and nuts, and uh, we took our time, and uh, it's good that we took our time because, and we're lucky that we've had pretty good weather, you know. But this was the biggest part of the build, build itself. This thing here. This 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 is the most, and it came out a lot nicer than I thought it would. Yeah, a lot, a lot sturdier. Huh? A lot sturdier, and, and the size of it, we planned out where to put everything. We're maximizing yeah. the size, so we hit everything. Right materials, right placement, measuring, uh, properly mounting and securing, and using good quality hardware. And we're going to use a nice, uh, I think, uh, with maybe maple or something. Uh, the smooth um, yeah we're gonna have to be very plywood. careful cutting that you know right 
because uh, that's expensive stuff. Yeah, that's expensive. I don't, uh, that's I don't, we have a nice finishing piece on Yeah, here we haven't now. wasted any material yet and, on the uh, And, um, you know, uh, Yeah, he, t he talks like a site superintendent. <laughs> and the bottom line is, is that, um, uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it uh, because the coach... If I was going to do it originally my way, where I was going to tear everything out, I'd be losing a lot of living space, and and it would have affected my kitchen. Thank you, Bruce. And refrigerator. Now this is actually the perfect size bed for me. That's it. And as big as you can get into a coach. As you can get it in here, basically, without affecting your floor yeah. space. So now what we've done, really, we've got a bigger, better bed back here, stronger. And I have a nice closet there for hanging my suits, hanging my Elvis shirts there, some storage right there. And always, this could, later on down the road, I could always get cabinets from Ikea and mount them up here. And I've had a lot of cabinetry. We're going to add some outlets here for charging, probably a little flip-up table uh, here or there so I could put... Yeah, let me go in know, from the other side. Yeah. Well, I think it's a really good size bed. Yeah, like you were saying, it. this is about uh, six, seven, eight inches diagonally, uh, and thirty-eight inches. Uh, it's about thirty. Well, it's thirty-eight on this side. I think right. it was about uh, forty-one, right? Yeah, we'll have side. to recheck. But uh, so uh, you know, this. This gives you plenty of uh, plenty of room, especially if you put your head at this end down here. Right. But it's a big bed. It's a good size. Good size, and uh, and and then we're we haven't even really got to the dinette, so right. It's a big improvement for uh, a yeah. lot of work, a lot of time. God, they just cut this thing off right here. Yeah. Wow. All well, because they had to put the well, fiberglass we need top. To, the fiberglass yeah, I understand that. It's just really raw, that edge there. Right. Okay. That's what they did. But I can always add cabinets up here, like I said. And a lot of the camper vans, they'll have wraparound cabinets. And, but you better make sure it doesn't fall on you in the night. mounting place, yeah. And it should have gone through here, cut this cabinet a little gone, deeper right, here. Exactly, put something there. You know? Remember, this is all, all right. was just holding paneling and closets. Right. There wasn't any really cabinets up here, but... Uh, yeah, so. um, it's definitely a super twin here. I'm not sure about a, a full size, but uh, no, it's, it's the about, mattress can go over the whole edge here, too. Yeah, from there to there is 38 inches, and from here to here is probably 41 or 42. Right. So you can't get a full size bed in here. And you can't get a, a twin size because... You're only, even though it's 70 inches this way, you're only about 38 to 40 inches this way. Yeah. So there's no way you can get any household mattress in there. You still have to get a custom mattress. Yeah. Because of the, uh, uh, of the length from here to here. But this maximizes the space in a camper van build because now you have a, your maximum width and then now you have your living space open up front. Right. Which is the best design for a van. That's why they make it like this in the, in, in the uh, road treks. So, all right, guys. With that, I'm going to call it a day, and I want to thank you for uh, being on the uh, build stream today. Thanks, thank you, especially those of you who uh, were kind enough to uh, tip out today. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And Marshall, tomorrow is another. Tomorrow day. is another day. Hopefully, it warms up because today was a chilly day. Yeah. Uh, well, and, winter's uh, winter's definitely coming. Winter's coming, so yeah. Uh, All right, guys. With that, we're gonna give them a big woo. -woo.